If you have ever wanted to charge into battle with a compensating loot in hand, giving the hunting horn a try now is the perfect time to try it, as it got some of the best buffs with the release of Sunbreak. In my opinion, Hunting Horn only really had three downsides, being how simplistic the weapon was to use, its combat mobility, and the damage output being a little to be desired. With the release of Sunbreak, the Hunting Horn received some new silk binds that cover most if not all of the issues it had in Monster Hunter Rise. In Sunbreak, the Hunting Horn gains access to Silkbind Shockwave, an incredibly powerful one wire bug cost silkbind that infuses your Hunting Horn with Iron Silk for 30 seconds. Upon doing so, creates additional shockwaves on almost all of your attacks to inflict extra stun, exhaust, and part damage to the monster. The move also gives you a massive amount of hyper armor, also reducing the damage you take for a fairly lengthy time to tank through roars or potentially one or multiple hits that would otherwise stagger or cart you, making it an incredibly valuable offensive and defensive tool. Additionally, this move can also lead into your Infernal Melody if the need arises, and has a fast recharge time, meaning you can throw them out fairly consistently to maintain the buff, adding some complexity that in my opinion is very much needed to the Hunting Horn. And again, this only costs one of your wire bugs. So you combine this with the other new Silkbind attack that was introduced with Sunbreak, Sonic Bloom is a new two wire bug cost Silkbind that places down an egg tethered to your Hunter that upon playing any three melodies will detonate, dealing in a single hit insane amounts of damage, always prioritizing the part it'll deal the most damage to, meaning it will lead to more stun and overall damage since it should be able to target the head very consistently. Coincidentally, the Sonic Bloom also has a 2 times wake up hit multiplier, making it an immensely strong wake up hit option, as well as mentioned before, targeting the head for you automatically. Due to the medium recharge time making it the same as the Earthshaker, you can throw the eggs down fairly often to deal massive extra damage without having to stop the onslaught of swings, resulting in more and more damage. Just be warned, the tether can detonate early if you get too far away from the egg. The final silk bind addition that the Hunting Horn got with the release of Sunbreak somewhat solves our combat mobility option with the swing combo switch skill. This lets us move side to side while attacking the monster allowing us to reposition from the left or right swing attacks in the appropriate directions. Personally, I haven't played around with this Silkbind too much, but the possibility and potential for it to be good is there. For instance, if you're fighting a monster that you know generally attacks from one side, like an Azuchi Tail or Gosarag Sword Arm, you should be able to set it up to dodge the attack while at the same time inflicting damage to the monsters, while also setting you up for further follow-up hits. Those were some of the reasons I definitely think you should pick up and try the Hunting Horn in Sunbreak. Thank you for watching.